Pepperdine men's basketball team a bit shorthanded, missing three key players as the Waves got ready to take on the Gonzaga Bulldogs in Spokane on Saturday night. Gonzaga ranked third in the AP poll, 6,000 fans there in the McCarthy Athletic Center. Wouldn't matter early, however, as the Waves got off to a great start. There's Stacey Davis hitting the jumper for the game's first two points. Jed Reigns had a couple of early baskets. Here he is with the pull-up jumper. Now Jed will take the pass, finish down low for two. Waves would go up 8-2 to two after six and a half minutes in when A.J. LaPre hit this jumper. A little while later, A.J. driving in, finishing the basket. Waves up 14-9, nine minutes into the game. And Lamont Murray Jr. got it going. There's Lamont. Hitting the jumper on the right baseline. Now taking the pass, finishing down low. And here's Lamont taking the high-low pass. Waves up 22-18, seven and a half minutes left in the first half. Tief Russell's offensive rebound and put back. Gave the Waves their biggest lead again, six points, 24-18. Marley Biondolo's turn now, hits a jumper from the corner. The Waves never trailed in the first half, went into the break tied 30-30. Stacey Davis there with a jumper. But Gonzaga's defense picked up in the second half. Waves only made one of their first 11 shots, and there was the one. Atif Russell actually getting the basket via goaltending. Gonzaga would go by as many as 14 points. You see Jeremy Major there tipping in his own miss. Now A.J. LaPre in the paint. Waves would battle back a little bit, scoring the game's final six points. Here's Jeremy Major with the last two. Gonzaga wins this one, however, 56-48. Some good takeaways for the shorthanded Waves, however, holding Gonzaga to a season-low 56 points. Gonzaga came in averaging 80.7, ranking 7th in the country. Gonzaga's only had three games in WCC play that have ended up in single digits, two of them by the Waves. Pepperdine had a better shooting percentage, fewer turnovers tonight. Let's hear from head coach Marty Wilson. I think the first half we made shots, second half we didn't make as many. And uh, that's what the, the game comes down to, uh, put the ball in the basket. Well, I thought we brought great energy. Uh, I thought we were very aggressive. I thought we were very tough. I think our guys stuck to the game plan of, of personnel, knowing personnel, uh, not guarding certain guys, not allowing them to punch the ball inside, especially from the top, and then just shrinking off of certain guys, shrinking off of guys that we feel are drivers instead of shooters, and then just being physical. Um, if we weren't physical, they'll just dominate us. But I thought we were very physical. I thought the refs allowed some things, and it allowed us to continue to do what we do.